You know what? I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh. I just got into it with this lady, okay, doing a lift ride. My stomach is killing me right now because I wanted to say so much more to this woman. So I'm gonna use this YouTube for therapy right now because I'm going through it right now after that. I guess she was trying to cuss me out. So we start talking about uh, the differences in um, freedom of speech and the fact that, you know, they're asking me what do I like to listen to. So I told them I like to listen to political podcasts that are more so debating, trending issues, debates and everything, you know, life issues going on in America. So I'm like Brandon Tatum's whatever. I'm a conservative. So the lady next to me was more of like, uh, I'm assuming liberal, like women rights. And the, the guy in the back seat was more of like the husband. He's more conservative. And then the two were, um, it was two behind me, two women who were LGBT. So we start going into the, the culture and life and this and that. So I mentioned that, you know, my situation with me not having my kids from the start all the way until, you know, the age they are now, um, and how I think that fathers are needed in the household, but you do need two parent household. And I mentioned men and women, but it could be two women, it could be two men. I've said that on this channel a lot, but they didn't let me get to that point. But I said that fathers are absolutely necessary to raise boys. The woman behind me, who's like the butch, obviously, she decides to say, you know what? I gotta say this, that's absolute bullshit. That is absolute bullshit. And that right there is the reason why women cannot raise boys, especially black boys. Because, like, the way she got so emotional and, and upset about the situation is the reason why you have so many boys in 2023 emotional, sensitive, ready to shoot up somebody in somebody's life. And, you know, that was literally the epitome of why you need men to raise kids that are boys and i'm sorry th there's been studies showing that majority of households that there's a father and not a mother the kids are more what or or are more likely to go to college um not go to jail stay out of jail not have kids at early age compared to when women are raising kids alone without a man um you have the complete opposite so you know that was kind of like, it fired me up because I didn't want to go into the fact I'm talking, speaking more so on black boys. Black boys absolutely need men to raise them. That's the reason why we got so much drama in the LBC. It's kind of hard being Snoopy or double G. Ha, ah, she got me fired up. You know, she took me out of my element because I want, I wish that ride would have lasted a little bit longer. Cause I would have had to check that woman. But cause I'm sorry, I don't care, give me a bad rating. But for her to be that upset, not realizing that I'm sorry, boys are being raised by women and that's the reason why you have so many um, men, so-called men acting out of control now in 2023 because they don't know how to be a man. I'm dealing with that right now. I'm learning stuff that I should have knew, you know, decades ago. Um, I'm learning now, you know? And it's crazy because I was telling the woman about how liberals, you can't speak your mind, people get upset. That was literally the epitome of getting upset for somebody speaking their mind, their opinion, you know? And that's what's going on right now. Um, but yeah, that was kind of nasty. And you know, the, um, I didn't tell you guys about this because I wasn't alive, of course, but yesterday I went to go hoop, okay? And when I walked in, I saw blood on the court. The guy was looking at the blood. I guess they jumped a dude who's usually down there. They jumped him like three on one. And I'm thinking to myself, that's cowardly and that's like, something that black folks do because no other culture people jump we jump ignorant you already know and this ain't pick on black folk right now but i'm just speaking on us you know what i've been around we jump okay for some reason not me my generation we didn't jump but generation the youngins they jump so the guy gets jumped so he decides to go to the car and get his gun and wait outside for him to walk out now this guy was willing to throw his whole life away now mind you this guy's always talking about shooting up somebody for doing something wrong on that in the court then he got tested they beat him up so then he decides to wait outside with the gun they called the cops of course and the cops came and i'm hoping he pulled off and left and lived to fight another day but that right there is the reason why you have so much violence because of father lack of fathers in the household you know that dude probably don't have a dad nowhere in sight okay and I'm not saying this is the case with all kids, all men. The reason why they do bad is not having a father. 
But that's the majority of the reason why. Because you don't have anybody to kick you in your butt in your butt and tell you to, to, to get right. This ain't right. Do better. You know? Um, half the time, your mom might tell you that, but we're not threatened. We don't care about what our mom said. I remember when my stepdad passed away, I started doing everything that I thought was bad and I thought was going to be, you know, um, disrespectful. Um, I did anyway. I didn't care because I didn't knew my mom was going to do nothing. She wasn't going to whoop me. I wasn't going to get put on punishment. It was going to be whatever. So I stopped going to school, all like that. I was going to school, but I stopped like being on time. I was like late. I, I failed one um, uh, semester because I missed too many days. I missed like 12 days for no reason. You know, uh, I started you know, engaging in, you know, behavior that was unbecoming of a man. And, you know, if I would have had a father figure, you know, at that point, I think I would have stayed straight, which I was headed straight. I was doing everything right. I would never have bought a car and drove without a license with bad tags on it if my father was still here because I knew he would have beat the brakes off me. You know, it wasn't even a thought in my mind. So this lady, the last ride, like I said, she got mad. I'm assuming I got a good rating because I just got a tip from that ride. So I'm assuming that the woman who I was talking to, she understood what I was dealing with because she, we talked for a couple seconds after and she didn't, and she's like, I get it. And I'm like, you're in Cincinnati. I'm like, you're in Cincinnati. So you know what I'm talking about. Majority of people in Cincinnati, I'm from Youngstown and that's what she was saying. She's from Ohio. I know I'm throwing a lot at y'all, but I'm kind of fired up because of that situation. But I'm like, you know, most of the crime that's happened is black folks. You know, most of the people that are robbing, stealing, and that are hurting, hurting us. And you know, most of the deaths from gunshots, you know, murders are black folks. So I'm like, and you know, majority of us in Ohio, especially black kids don't have fathers. Fathers is lacking right now. You know, firsthand, I know, you know, my stepdad died at 16. Most of us didn't have father figures. That's a real thing. Maybe not out here in California, but now you got the LGBT community and I don't give a damn about anybody feeling this kind of way because now the LGBT community, they're not realizing that they go take a rough young black kid and try to raise that kid. All the love in the world ain't going to be enough. Okay. And when you've gone through some things, maybe with me, because I was sensitive, I was emotional as a kid, but most of these kids that are like grew up through the struggle, now they're like eight, nine, stuck in their way. A two parent, you know, a loving LGBT home isn't gonna help. You need a father in that household, period. And then, yes, like if you adopt like a baby, a black baby, you know, two, two women, then yes, you're gonna give them all the love in the world and it's gonna be cool. But to say that you're gonna be able to tame, you know, um, the average black kid, I'm sorry, it ain't happening, it ain't. Now, of course, I might be small-minded thinking about Ohio, like Youngstown, Cincinnati, Columbus, places that I, I've, Cincinnati I've been, but I lived in Columbus, lived in Youngstown, uh, you know, Toledo, those places I lived for an extended period of time. Yes, maybe y'all might say that it's like that there, not the rest of the country. Y'all got me there. But for the most part, we know that most of what I'm saying is true. When you don't have a father as a black kid, you usually stray the wrong way as a black boy. So yeah, that fired me up. I had to come on here and rant a little bit and talk about that. Cause that's just, just ignorant, just ignorant. Like, like I'm making this nasty face right now. Cause I'm kind of flustered. Cause that just threw me off. And you know, that's the reason why in California, you can't really speak your mind. Like I said before, you gotta like go with the flow. Like that woman literally was ready to rip my head off. And then I actually like coward and I said, sorry for speaking my mind. Like y'all was literally digging into my life. Like I'm literally trying to be short. Like she's like, I'm like, yeah, if y'all anything you want to listen to, let me know. I just listen to my podcast all day on my AirPods. She's like, oh, which one? I'm like, well, I listen to more political ones or comedy. And they're like, which one is that? And I'm like, um, fragrant two. And they're like, oh, who, who, what comedian is that? And I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, I listen to YouTube mainly. Like Brandon Tatum, um, you know, Tim Pool. Um, you know, people like that. And then she's like, oh, uh, what are we talking about? And I'm like, yeah, they talk about race, politics, somewhat, you know, like like the Supreme Court ruling. And then the guy in the back seat started asking what happened to the Supreme Court ruling. And it was about Trump, like not being on the ballot. And of course, because they're LGBT and um, automatically they're gonna not like Trump. That's, I think, what triggered um, her to start, you know, to go in on me. So then, um, I'm like telling them this, the way I feel about freedom of speech and how you're not allowed to have opinion without people being upset and, and this and that. 
her not knowing that I have a family member that's LGBT and how I stand for people that want to live the life they want to live. She didn't give me a chance to even express that because she just started going off about, you know, you saying we can't raise boys. I, I can't wait till we can. We, I can't wait until we have a show that they take a, you know, a black kid, like a young little six, seven year old black kid that been through some stuff that that's in an adoption agency. And you have the two women, like nine times out of 10, it ain't going to work. Okay. That kid is going to be unless, unless, unless the kid had a good mom who just like did wrong, bad things that caused the kid to end up in an adoption agency. And uh, because for the most part, uh, most of um, the kids that aren't being adopted are usually black kids, sadly, because they just assume we're bad and we're not. We just need like structure we just need you know love we just need you know people to give us a chance you know but guess what um when you are only getting adopted because people want to make money because they're getting paid by the adoption age you know the adoption um system you know um, child service system whatever it's called you know it's kind of it sucks you know but my thing is once again i'm not saying that lady can't raise a boy they can't raise a boy but that's the problem. Men, we're not equal. Women and men, we're not equal, okay? Men are still gonna be men. Men are still gonna be physically dom dominating and it's in a bad way, you know, which is why you need to face men with men. It's just how it is, you know? And I don't think women should embolden all that crap that she, I think, was thinking that I was thinking, but I mean, I'm sorry. You know, taking the man out of the household is the reason why America has gone the way it's gone the past few years, you know? Um, gone the way of more school shootings than ever. And I'm not even talking about the once every three months white school shoot. I'm talking about like schools getting shot every single freaking, almost every other week in the hood. You have people shot every day. But look, I gotta go hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm out. Peace.